Hello my beautiful big boy. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Timothy Hara the Masterpiece. In today's video I'm going to take you in this journey where I'm going to show you an area here in Chipolkoso where they do gardening farming. This gardening farming, let me say these guys they do supply to all areas here in the copper belt and this is the main garden where these people they get their vegetables from i would see a lot of uh zambian army they do come here and i've seen there are some of the cars parked somewhere there and those cars they've come to buy uh vegetables from here so this area it's the main supplier of onion the main supplier of uh rape the main suppliers of chinese i'm not talking about Chinese people here no so they do supply a lot a lot of vegetables even fresh cops fresh maize cops they do supply these people if you find people in the street in uh, the street of Kito the street of uh, Chingola the street of uh, uh, Ndola the those people who are selling vegetables they get their vegetables from these place so this place is called the, the main home of vegetables here in Chipulukusu, Zambia so guys enjoy this video please kindly subscribe to the channel if you're new click on the notification button for you to get all my latest videos and share this video <laughs> Welcome to the masterpiece, Timothy Hara. Good morning, people. Good afternoon. Good evening. Depends on where you're watching from, guys. Uh, I'm in this place here in Chipulukusu, uh, and uh, I'm here just trying to check on uh, some of the gardens which are here, which are happening here. You know, this area is well known for for gardening. As you can see there, there is some veg there, and uh, you know, I've been saying this to a lot of people to say, a lot of people have so many different means of surviving, trying to, to feed their families, trying to feed uh, the, the, their homes, and how are they living their life? And in my last video, I once said that some of them, how they are doing it, it's something so different. For them to feed their families, they take some different, different, different uh, routes. So as in here, where I am right now, these people, they are here, they, they are here uh, surviving by the means of uh, like uh, trying to to do this gardening you see all this area is meant for gardening so <laughs> so what is happening here is uh like uh, you can see this is what they are doing this is what they are doing so if you are based in dollar zambia if you want uh, vegetables necessarily you want vegetables maybe it, to plant at your backyard because a lot of people they are getting this necessarily from here you see it's a big area behind so they get some vegetables from here and then they go and sell them some of them they take to Kitwe, some of them they take to uh lusaka some of them they take to chingola some of them they take to different different 
cities here in the copper belt. So when you go to Ketua, you ask these people to say, where are you getting this veg from? Uh, they are going to say, we are getting this veg from uh, Ndola, Zambia. And this is where the main uh, gardening, where they are getting the same veg, where they are getting the same things, and how they are surviving. So, you know those people who are in the street here in Dola Zambia, and those people that have been chased from the street, those people, they were getting their rage, and this is where they were getting uh, their things from. You can see just uh, from uh, from this place. Uh, so, whenever they, they, maybe they harvest from here, they get their rage from here, and then they take it to town where they are being chased as street vendors. So whenever they are there, they are selling uh, more especially in the evening, like starting from uh, 17 p.m. or uh, 6 p.m. Uh, that's when they still start uh, selling this kind of uh, vegetables you can see. So whenever if they are selling, it has become a difficult thing for people to survive here because a lot of them have been chased from, uh, from the street. So if they are chased from the street, uh, Just take a look at this. Take a look at this. This is so beautiful. So beautiful. So beautiful. You can see, I like a little bit. home of vegetables. You can see, they call this place to be the home of uh, vegetables. The home of vegetables, where are the supplies? You can see all these are Like a lot of, a lot of them, a lot of them they depends from this you see and it is it has become a big big business for a lot of people around this place uh, it is a business which is uh, like trying to feed their families trying to feed their homes so you can see there are a lot it's a huge area i'm telling you a very big huge area such that uh, uh, a lot of families are being fed. You can say uh, here they are more than 1,000 1, uh, people doing some garden thing. It's from here up to somewhere there, you see. So it is, it is something so huge, something so huge. And uh, the bad part, that's what I was saying, the bad part is that uh, people they are failing to do their businesses here. You see, if you, you 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 are a gardener and then you start doing your business at night, just because you are being chased from the street, just because you are being chased from, uh, from your selling place, it is not a good thing. It's not a good thing. Because where, if they are going to chase them, where are those families going to depend on? Where are they going to get those, uh, uh, those uh, that money which they want to feed their family? Where are they going to do it? How are they going to survive? You see? And so, it is a thing which is so hard for a lot of them. And uh, I can relate to say, here in Zambia we've got uh, shortage of power. We've got shortage of power and uh, 
people used to survive through saloons, used to survive through uh, metal fabrication, used to survive through barber shops, used to survive uh, in different different uh, areas, like which were which was giving them uh, uh, income. So, like I'm saying today, right now, right here. Power came yesterday around uh, 24 p.m. Today, around 05 a.m., power has already gone. So people, they failed, they, they are failing on how they are going to survive. You see, they are failing on how they are going to survive. They are failing on how they are going to feed their families. So some of them, they've come here as a means of trying to feed their families and uh, some of them they are doing peace works here and some of them they are they are the owners of uh, this land so um, i do really enjoy when i see a lot of uh, the, like the zns the military police and uh, the, the people from the army Whenever they come this time, they come with trucks, you see, trucks just to collect the vegetables around this place. So whenever they come here, all they come is just to, uh, to buy from the farmers. Whenever they buy, if they buy, they take that to their, to their places where they, they, they do their gardening. So you can see those ladies there, those that they are trying to buy uh, the same, same vegetables and then they trying to, to go and sell around uh, the community. Some of them go and sell in town. So that's a big challenge for a lot of them. So, it is life for them. Doing this, it is life. Gardening is life for them. And uh, it is one of the huge things. Some of them have built a lot of magic moment. They have built a lot of things just by doing this. You see? You see? So, it is something that has given them life. You can see from here, there is even some maze corpse somewhere here. Yeah, some maize cobs are there. You can see fresh maize cobs are here. So, it's something so huge. You can see, since I started the walking, it's uh, now 10 minutes just walking, passing this, uh, uh, this garden. <laughs> you see? So, here, yeah, maybe, maybe, let me say, five or Five, uh, let me uh, square me uh, square and you can see all the, those people there. <laughs> I remember my mother and my father. We we were doing this once again. We are doing this, but not in this area. It was somewhere there. Let me show you. There, where there is, uh, yes, somewhere there. That's where we were doing some farming. Uh, that's where we were doing some uh, these activities. So uh, now we had a big challenge. You can see the bananas. Those are bananas there. And uh, let me show you the maize cobs that I was talking about. Let me show you. Let me show you. So those are fresh maize cobs. Those ones, they are fresh maize cobs. And uh, if you want to have fresh maize cobs, come here. You're going to get them. <laughs> here they are like, they don't finish. They don't finish. You understand? Hmm? You come in June, you come in October, you're going to find fresh maize cobs. 
your friends they'll be complaining no we don't have many fresh mess cobs we don't have this 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 but you you're going to have them so you can see this is onion from here to there this is onion somebody has planted onion And where do they get water from? It's because of this. You see? So here water is everywhere. Water is everywhere. Everybody. Uh, you can see here there's some nursery onions. So all these places, all these places. This is onion and they've added fertilizer. All those people there. All those people. This is Chihuahua, Chihuahua and Mon This is a big land. You can walk through this like about one hour without completing the whole gardening area. There are a lot of people here, a lot of them. I'm telling you, it is one of the beautiful places. Like, um, uh, if people they've they've planted their their vegetables and they are green. So this is when some of them they are preparing. You can see they are preparing some they have planted already. Now they are just waiting for the seeds to germinate. But uh, there are some of them who have already uh, planted and they've started selling to the community to the uh, in the street uh, just like i told you like a lot of them they sell in the street uh, they are street vendors so so you see this uh, this is uh, they call here them necessarily Yeah. Mm -hmm.
So you can see this one is already ready to sell. And you can see those women, they are uh, buying this veg. This one is ready, it's ripe. You can take it to the market, take it anywhere for you to sell. But this one, it's not ready. This is uh, rape. And this is maize. And they are about to give birth to the maize cobs. Not yet, but still, end time from two months, three months, then they are already ripe. Have you observed this which is looking like grass? This is not grass, this is sugarcane. Sugarcane plants. Oh, this is sugar cane. And there's cobs here. You can see. Almost ready. Almost, almost. So, when I tell you to say these people, they depend from this things and I know what I mean I know what I mean you see you can pass this place moving around without completing the, the same place maybe two hours just moving because uh, it is a very big place it is so huge and it's so big and everyone here is so so busy they are doing their things they are planting their onions, they are planting their vegetables, they are planting different, different kinds of things. And some of them, they just live within these houses that you are seeing here. So, this is their life. This is their life. This is how they live. You can see from here, the vegetables. Nobody here who is like, okay, if I... Uh, let me say, a lot of young people from this area, for them to be educated, they are doing this pay off their school fees. Ah, that's what I can say. They are doing this to, just to pay off their school fees. You can see, this is one of the huge, again, huge address. So, when we say in Zambia, there are so many means of surviving. This is what we mean. Because if you ask me to say, where are the industries? I'm going to say so many kilometers for you to see the same, these industries. But for them, they've created the industry for themselves. So it has become a uh, a thing of not worrying themselves. The boss has become the main means of surviving here. Nobody can say, this is not helping me, this is not helping that person, this is not helping him, this is not helping. It is helping everybody. It doesn't matter, like, okay, me, I leave this side, uh, and I cannot do this, I cannot uh, do this. We depend on one another. If you are rich, you are working in the government, you are working in, the, in those offices there, you need people like this, because you are going to uh, need vegetables like this from these kinds of places so this is what i mean this is what how we do it oh let me say this is how they live this is how they do it
gardening has become their part of life. Since I came here, that was in 2012, I met these people and still they are still doing the same thing. And people die, they come and go, but still they continue doing these things. So it is part of them, it is part of their life. Mary's, Mary's Cops. And three, let me say two months from now, this will be ready. Be ready. You can see. Let's see. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. And this is water, you can see. Hope you can see that this is a huge area and uh, you can see how many minutes now? 27 to 30 minutes we are still in this area without completing it so and this video is edited which means that <laughs> it's a big area i'm telling you very big one very big one So this represents about point five years. So Here, water is not an issue. You can see just from preparing the land, it, water from the ground. Let me say, water comes from the ground. You just prepare your your land where you're going to plant those vegetables and water starts coming out from the ground so here they are being they are preparing where to plant this uh, vegetables and this is the man here i'll show you let me show you yes this is the man who is preparing the same land you can see before preparing there is so much glasses there and those are the gardeners some of them they are gardeners some of them they are searching for some vegetables to buy these ladies that you are seeing in front of me Yeah, a penny so. You are proper of the wall. But I got to
you see where there are those i don't know if it's there are five trees one two three four somewhere five to six tree, uh, trees big trees this one all that place they are inside the garden all that place you can see which means this garden it's beyond garden i'm telling you all this place. that's why i told you to say here there are more than 1,000 people doing gardening. You can see the area where we are coming. We are coming from there. Water is everywhere. That's why people, they do gardening. Water is everywhere, you can see. Then, what are we? Yeah. Yeah. Paka pendo. Namba mpita wino na ba na kairi mo na ni amesha kuchuma poni na moka. Mwanvate. Eh. Mule pita vio mumu ine vio mu. I was telling those kids to be careful because you can see here everywhere there is water everywhere everywhere so you can say water is uh, is not harmful but water is very dangerous like to children like those ones you see so uh, those kids if they they were to be like Make a mistake and try this, I'm telling you. So you see where these that thread the school girl and those ones they're coming from. It's uh it's it's uh, let me say it's an area here in Zambia and it is called Gons. Uh, this is where they say Pamilani, Pamilani. So that's where I'm going to pass. But you see the bridge. So I'm going to go to the cafe. I'm Everyone is busy here. Everyone is busy. This is the small bridge. Yeah. 
this is this water comes from the Zambian brewery that side. There you can see and here is small bridge. So this is the bridge which they used to cross over to the other side of the area which is called Gongs and this side it is called uh, Mapalo area. Uh, I can see these back, kids they are going to Gongs. Really failed. And that water that you saw mm -hmm. is coming from the Zambian breweries mm -hmm. and uh, those are the waste of water which is being used there and then they allow it to come this side. Uh, let me say a lot of them comes from the fountain, the fountain where the Zambian breweries get their water to make beer. I think guys this comes to the end of my video please kindly subscribe click on the notification button for you to get all my latest videos for more content for more videos like this please guys do me a favor hit that like button subscribe to the channel and click on the notification button for you to get all my latest videos thank you so much for staying glued to the channel and for watching this video i'm out so this side the houses and uh, this area it's called gums so and this is called this not separate Uh, this is a tree. This is a tree.